you guys. So this is just that quick video that I mentioned in the paper prompt and in uh, a couple of other posts to just talk through the ARP 1D, which is the final ARP 1 paper. Um, so I'm in just a second here going to share my screen so I can be showing you guys the um, paper itself, the sample paper, and kind of talk through it with you. So let me get that set up. So this is the paper prompt, or sorry, the sample paper that I'm sharing here. And what you'll see when you look at it is that it is color coded. So there is a section that is yellow, uh, there's a section that's green, there's a section that's aqua, and then there are sections that do not have any highlighting. So when we look at the paper, we'll see that what I've done here with the color coding is give you the text that is from the sample paper for ARP1 in yellow. So all of this in yellow is just the ARP1 sample paper copied, pasted into a new document um, here to give us the same information that ARP1 was giving us, obviously. So this is here to give us some background and context to the overall topic. So again, this is just the text from the ARP1 copied and pasted in. Then we have this green section. The green section is the text from ARP2, copied and pasted straight into the document. Then we have the aqua section, and that is from, I'm sorry, I've been calling them ARP2. So that was ARP1A is the yellow, ARP1B is the green, ARP1C is the aqua. Sorry for any confusion there. But all I did to get these into this document is open the ARP 1A sample paper, copy the text, paste it into here. Open the ARP 1B sample paper, copy the text, paste it into here. You can do the same thing with your papers. Um, I would suggest making sure you've looked at them and made any corrections that I've noted. Uh, for you to do. And if you, you know, need any help with that, as I've told you guys in the feedback with all those papers, just, you know, come to my office hours or if my office hours don't work, uh, email or text me so you can set up a Zoom meeting at a different time and we'll go through your paper together. Um, and I can talk about exactly what is going on as far as the rubric scores and some of the notes I made. So, um, so that's how the color coding works here. And then you'll see the few sections that do not have any color. So the beginning here of the paper, we have this first paragraph that is the introduction and that includes a hook to uh, capture your audience's attention. So that is something that was not previously in 1A, 1B, or 1C, but was written to make the introduction to the entire paper, which is what 1D is. So that is freshly written for ARP 1D, this introduction. You'll also see between the yellow section and the green section, so between 1A and 1B, there's a very brief sentence to transition between those two things. So that's what that is here for. Um, and when you get, when we get done with the uh, 1C, the aqua part, you'll see that there is a brief conclusion that is again, not highlighted because it was written newly for this. So even though your ARP 1D is going to be six-ish pages long, you're not writing six new pages for ARP 1D. You're combining 1A, 1B, and 1C, and the things you are writing are just the introduction, any necessary transitions, and then the conclusion. So it's not writing a six page paper at this point, it's putting together the work you've been doing and connecting it and framing it with an introduction and a conclusion to turn it into a six page paper. So I do, I just wanted to make sure that was clear. After that, you'll see the works cited page and definitely see here, these are all of the the sources that were used in the papers. So the sources that were previously used in 1A, 1B, and 1C, 
and those sources have been resorted so that they are all alphabetized by whatever the first word is. So with the first entry, we see that's the author's last name. The second entry, we don't have an author, so we've put it in alphabetical order by the first word of the title. Uh, the third one, the title starts with the. If the title starts with the, a, or an, you ignore that when alphabetizing. So it's here being alphabetized by the word death, which is the first non-article, which is what the, a, and an are, are uh, their articles. So the first non-article word here. Uh, and as you go through, you'll just see that the entire works cited page is in alphabetical order. So things have been rearranged um, as opposed to just copying and pasting ARP 1As, ARP 1Bs, and ARP 1Cs and doing them that way, they've been combined to be a proper works cited page uh, for a full paper, which is what we have now. So again, I just wanted to make sure I did a quick talk through that. Um, the sample is there, it is on Blackboard, it's um, under, so in the major assignments link, we have both the prompt and the sample here. Um, and then the check-in assignment is in this week's weekly assignments. So those are all things to look at in addition to this video. Um, please remember when you're doing those check-ins to look back at the paper prompt or the sample paper, or if there's a video at the video while you're doing it. Like there's there's really no reason to not be getting 100 on the paper prompts, or sorry, on the check-in assignments, because that's they're, they're not there to test you on if you remember what you read in the paper prompt. They're there to make sure you have looked at the paper prompt, looked at the sample paper, and are understanding what the assignment is and what yours might need to look like. So um, yeah, please do that. Um, so again, this is just here as um, just kind of a little extra way of helping. Uh, I hope that having the video does a little bit more than um, you know, just reading the document if this is the kind of the kind of learning that does help you. So um, as always, if you have questions, please just let me know, email me or text me whenever you'd like. Um, log into Zoom during my office hours. And as always, my office hours don't work for you. Just email or text me to let me know a time that does work for you so that we can meet on Zoom at that time. So um, as always, I hope this finds you doing well and let me know if you have any questions and I will talk to you all later. Bye.